You know, there are so many journaling videos on the internet, but I think what's highly underrated is the ability to use journaling to figure out what your perfect day is and not your perfect life. Because ultimately, your life is comprised of many little days. And if you have each day right, your life is gonna be awesome. So in this video, I wanna share how to design your perfect day with journaling. What's up guys, Alex Hein here over at Modern Health Monk. Before we jump in, I've put together a free journaling worksheet and a free journaling email series that goes with this video. So it's the first link right below this video and it'll help you figure out how to get your life together and how to utilize journaling to build the most incredible dream life imaginable, all right? Check it out right below this video and we'll jump back in. So there was a woman that had a really big impact on my life and her name is Susie Batiz. So if you guys know the bathroom spray, Poopery, Susie is the founder and the CEO of that. And she describes in one of her interviews a really, really series of awful life experiences she had, ranging from a suicide attempt to multiple bankruptcies and divorce. And just thinking in this one moment that she was the worst entrepreneur ever, that she must be not destined for greatness or any kind of success. And she describes during this healing phase of her life where she spent about five years trying to figure out how to purely heal from the damage that entrepreneurship had done to her life. And all she wanted to do was feel well. Now, in that healing process, what happened was she ended up getting this idea for bathroom spray that could stop bathroom odor that was built off of these essential oils that she had been tinkering with as a hobby. So long story short, this ended her on Forbes' richest women list. So she was one of the richest women listed in this inventory. And this is formerly the woman that was the self-perceived worst entrepreneur ever, multiple bankruptcies, etc. Now, what Susie talks about is what helped her in that healing journey was following something she called the resonance and dissonance radar. And the point of the resonance and dissonance radar is that she found that when she pursued businesses that she wasn't excited about, they never worked out. And when she pursued businesses that she was really passionate about, things worked out. And she realized that that was true also in her relationships, her friendships, her hobbies, and so on. And so she calls this the resonance and dissonance radar. Now, what does this have to do with designing your perfect day? Well, your day is designed and comprised of all these little things that you do. So the first thing that I want you to do is come up with a list of daily tasks or weekly tasks that you do and break them just into two columns, resonance or dissonance. So I'll show you what that looks like. So here we have the resonance radar, right? This is Susie's term, so I wanna give her credit for that. And we're just gonna say resonance here and then dissonance here. And then I want you to just write down what you do basically on a daily basis, right? Anything in your life. I mean, it's different if you're a student or if you're an entrepreneur, but write down everything. So I'll put down a little list here. Let's just say iron clothes for work. And then we'll say from there, you know, let's just say you're a student. We'll say homework. Then we're gonna put the gym, gym workouts. Then we're gonna say, you know, cooking. And then we're gonna say, let's just say you're an entrepreneur, right? We'll make it even more granular so there's more tasks here. We'll say, let's say you're a YouTuber, right? You're creating videos like this. You have to script videos, you have to shoot, you need to have your clothes ready. And then let's throw in a couple other things just from life. Let's say, you know, you went hiking, you got brunch, you mentored some people. Now let's look at these day-to-day -day tasks in terms of resonance and dissonance. So when I go through this list, which it's honestly so simple, what do you wanna do? That's the million dollar question. What do you wanna do on a daily basis? So when I look at this list, do I wanna iron clothes? Hell no. Do I wanna do homework? I mean, if you're in an interesting field, yeah, but let's just put yes and no. Do I wanna go to the gym? It depends, but let's just put yes. Do I wanna cook? Not really. Do I wanna script videos? Not really. Do I wanna shoot videos? Not really. I just like having videos done. Do I want to get my clothes ready? Not really. Do I want to hike? I mean, some days, but a lot of days I don't. So let's just put, not really, I'm tired, I want to relax on the weekend. Do I want to do brunch with friends? Sure. Do I want to mentor people that, you know, sometimes reach out and want mentorship for free? Sometimes, but mostly not really because I have a lot on my plate. So now we have resonance and dissonance. Let's break these down a little bit. So let's say, studying something you love. We'll just put study. We have the gym because it makes you feel good or makes me feel good. And then 
let's just say my only other thing I like to do is get brunch with friends. That's currently my resonance radar. Like on the average day, I want to do something I like, I like exercise, and I would love to get a meal with friends. And then let's look at dissonance. Let's just break down a few of them. So ironing, I don't really want to do that on a perfect day if I don't have to. Uh, cooking, you know, I do cook, but if I had a million dollars, I wouldn't. Uh, let's say, you know, scripting videos because it takes a lot of my time. Getting my clothes ready, right? That goes into ironing. And then let's say mentor, right? It's fun mentoring people, but do I really want to do it every day as opposed to getting paid for it? Not really. So now we have the resonance and the dissonance radar. So day to day, what do you actually want to do? It sounds logical, but doing what you actually want to do and not doing what you don't want to do is one of the first ways to parse out what would create your perfect day. Now the next step here is to really figure out how you want to feel, right? And sometimes you can reverse engineer what you want to do based on how you feel. So a lot of what we're doing or what you want to do in your life subconsciously is you're trying to find a feeling. So for me, for example, one of the things I realized is as an entrepreneur, how I want to feel is usually free. Like I basically can do whatever I want when I want it. I want to feel uh, excited. So I don't want to do anything out of obligation. If I don't want to go iron my clothes, I'll pay someone to do it, for example, or I'll do it some other time. Susie Batiz uses the word turned on, which I know comes with a lot of uh, innuendo. Free, excited, turned on, and I would say, let's say positive expectancy, meaning I'm looking forward to my day. I, I want to be doing this. If I get $10 million, it's not gonna change that I want to do this. Maybe you like painting, so maybe creative is on that list, right? Maybe you're a writer or an artist of some kind and you love just putting on music and drawing or sketching or painting. So maybe feeling creative. Uh, maybe flow is a word for you. So you feel like time is endless and you don't need a timer or to look at the clock or respond to anyone. So you wanna feel in flow. That, that day is unlimited, it's endless. There's no, there's no timelines or deadlines. Now the third part is planning your core daily time blocks. That is, I know that if you have a job, this is going to be different versus if you're an entrepreneur. If you're in school, this is gonna be different if you're you know, a working adult. But how do you want your day to look in terms of time blocks? So I'll give you an example. I like to use kind of a visual time blocking system for what I wanna do in my life. So let's say nine to five, this is all work. So there's nothing there for you. We go back to these tasks, you know, the resonance radar. Like let's say one thing I love is studying something I'm passionate about or painting, right? Let's say here, seven, going to be painting. Okay, and then eight and nine is maybe something related to your business, like, you know, design a new course. Design course, or maybe shoot a YouTube video. Something that you're really, really passionate about. So basically, you've reverse engineered how you wanna feel day to day, what, in terms of concrete tasks and things to do, what those look like that excites you. Do the most exhaustive list possible, and then, put these time blocks in your day. And I would say the most important thing is, besides scheduling those every single day, remembering that there's a quote by Steve Jobs, that if you see the world around you, everything that you exist in, this whole structure of nine to five society was designed by people no smarter than you. So if you think you can't live your life any way you freaking want to, you're wrong. And you can design your life any way you want, and you should. You should ignore anyone who says you can't do that. This method of journaling is one of the best ways I've seen to do that and design your perfect day. All right, guys, download the free journaling worksheet and see the email course that goes with it, and I'll catch you soon.